Okay, you happy back there? Your camera? Okay, camera's cool. All right, similar to what we did yesterday, kind of a, a wrap up session here, um, the birds of a feather sessions that you guys just did. What, what did you really like about it? Anything that you talked about that you are super, super amazingly excited about? I'll wait. <laughs> GF proxy and TLEC. It's on. Okay. Yes, and you can. Mm -hmm. So in the, uh, the the memory management working group, <laughs> yes. we we, di we discussed uh, two things. One was the, the the memory management problems faced specifically by Samba, which um, seemed like they might be greatly Im improved by by using GF proxy or something like it. Um, and in a more general sense, to uh, deal with memory issues in in Gluster Core, um, I think there was. For I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, people, but there seemed to be significant interest in at least trying to use TALIC from uh, the, the Samba project to both avoid and to detect uh, memory leaks. So that's the two things I brought out of that conversation. Cool. Like Jim Allen. No, uh, TALIC is um, it's not a direct <coughs> replacement for malloc. It's more of a layer on top of it. That does hierarchical allocation, so you can you can create a bunch of objects that are hierarchically relate, related to one another, and then just free the top, and it takes takes care of the rest, calling disruptors and stuff. It also has some facilities to dump information about what's still allocated. Um, and so it's for debugging. Yeah. Oh. Um, well, debugging and and programming <coughs> means that the, the hierarchical free means you can get away with being perhaps a little bit lazy about uh, um, explicitly releasing each of these secondary objects individually mm. and just release the top of the tree. Um, so um, kind of a similar effect. W we'd had a discussion um, a little bit about pre-allocating a ton of stuff. Um, it, it's the same idea that, that if, if you can just free everything at once, you don't need to worry about freeing it individually. And that's what we do already, but it's not really good when you're just using malloc. Does it know about <laughs> reference counts, though? There, there are there are reference counts, but it, we're, I'm confused. <laughs> 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 Michael's the real expert, or Gunther. Okay. Um, so uh, it sounded like they have a ref counting facility, but it may not be completely meshed with some of the other things, like the hierarchical freeing. Okay. Um, so we'll see. Okay. What else? What other things were out there? Actually. Yeah, if you just pass it down. I don't, yeah, go ahead. You don't have to come. <laughs> we discussed uh, the backup and archive. So the most fascinating thing was like, uh, we discussed like 15 years, uh, uh, archiving for 15 years and uh, restoring it back after 15 years. So the, we discussed about rapidly changing software and constant data. So yeah, it was uh, the tape writing back up to the tapes and uh, everything was new to us and yeah, it was very good. Good. Okay. Other pieces around down there. Nigel. No, oh, you're just walking. In there. I thought you had something to say. No? <coughs> okay. Nothing more about birds of a feather session? Okay. We'll move on. Um, sessions. Sessions overall. How did you feel this went? Okay. Not all right. Anybody with any comments? Again, like the the mic is out. No. Very good. Okay. Like thumbs up. We're 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 good on those. Okay. Um, what didn't work? You know. I I think we can probably have a conversation about time, but now is not the time. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Um, uh, yeah, no, venue. I agree with you. I think we can change towards a, a larger venue um, and like something that is maybe less, uh, how can I say, friendly for everyone. I know it's been kind of a, a crammed couple days. Um, what else didn't work? Sign, sign what's leading to the room. Directions to actually get here. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I come up from the Okay, you're, you're just doing that. Okay, fair enough. 
Um, yeah, I mean, the sessions that I really appreciated personally was um, definitely Jeff Darcy in terms of being able to come by and tell us like all of the things that we should be working on longer term. So um, anything that anybody else really want to see again, really liked about this particular format. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> can we also start uh, collecting kind of feedback for appreciations? Oh uh, yes, the, yes, yes, yes. The feedback forms, which can be distributed to all the participants, and so we we're we're going to do something different in just a second or so. You are you are ahead of me for about I don't know. Give me <laughs> give me five minutes, and we'll get there. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Uh, I'm such a grandstander. <laughs> Come on up. So while we're talking about things that we appreciate and that we think went well, let's let's show some appreciation for Amy. Yeah. Uh, funding. How hard was it to find funding for some of this? Not yep. easy. Uh, not easy. No. Doing logistics. No. Not easy. Dealing with speakers. Well, I know that wasn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> And she did all of that. And there's probably a hundred other things I don't even know she did. Um, so yeah, she did a great job. So we should That's definitely, right. you know, individually and collectively thank her for that. Yeah. Thank you. And Nigel too for being the, the, the keeper of the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, back here. Or you can come up. Yeah. <laughs> you all get time up on stage. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. So, what I wanted to say is about the sessions in general. Um, apart from all the deep insights about uh, specific topics, uh, in um, what I appreciated very much is um, seeing uh, or learning about the, the testing infrastructure, the Gusto thing. I mean, it's, I think it's tremendous work, and it's so great that it's also being integrated upstream and. And, and downstream and so on. This is um, super useful. I also found it very useful um, to have um, Humble and Luis present on the on the Hekeri and, and all the container things because what has resulted from that, I mean, ho apart from a bigger understanding hopefully for every, everybody is uh, discussions and, and, and potential for working together and, and eliminating efforts that actually achieve the mm -hmm. same thing, like um, working together with, uh, already working together with people who are on the, on the, the con on cluster management side, but there are other things like in the in the test framework, can we use uh, the AKT software to um, to bring up and manage the stuff? So there is a lot of discussions, and these are just examples, <coughs> but for me the most outstanding ones um, for um, yeah, potential collaborations. And these things wouldn't have happened without such a, let's say, a meeting, convention, mm -hmm. people yeah. being all together in the same room. Yeah. So that's totally super useful. And of course, uh, having um, non gasto developers, non Red Hat uh, people present their use cases, present their developments, their work, that is also mm -hmm. uh, something that this, this summit is so valuable for. So mm -hmm. it's yeah. my main takeaways here. Thank you. Welcome oh. back. Yeah. Welcome back. Yes, Brittany. You finally get a mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think for me, uh, I we were actually asked to uh, actually uh, oh, okay. yes. So we were actually asked to uh, develop QoS for uh, Gluster, uh, and uh, yesterday I think uh, the Facebook uh, guys have actually told you know this is how we do it, just do it, that kind of thing. <laughs> so I, and we were like, uh, uh, it was like really nice that we kind of have the almost the full solution. We would like to try it out and see how we have to improve it. And like uh, today uh, in the morning session about the advanced high availability, the Shreyas, uh, we kind of realized that we are kind of solving the same problems in three different projects, like you know server side replication. Well, except we're just starting and they're finished. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think they, they, they are yet to solve some of those too. So I think uh, it, this was like the right time to have them for this to have happened. Otherwise, I think they, we would have ended up with like some three different implementations. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you don't have anything to say? No, okay. no, no, no. You just want to watch yeah. the mic? Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> um, other things about sessions? Yes? Uh, there are two sessions, uh, uh, one by Ram from Kamal, as mm -hmm. well as uh, being a consultant in uh, cluster.org. So it gives the practical perspective of how cluster is used <coughs> in deployment. Yeah. Uh, extremely thankful to them. Yes. Uh, I find it, I learned something from them. 
Yes. And uh, thanks for this. Uh, I mean, as a community, uh, how we succeed is very important, and uh, Facebook presence actually go there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <coughs> Anything more about sessions? Going once, going twice. Moved. All right. What's missing? What did we not do that maybe we should have? I know, I know, lightning talks, I know, but. <coughs> nothing comes to mind? Having rooms for bus. OK, we'll, we'll come around. Yeah. Should we have like more of the user service, like, you know, like he was also saying, uh, uh, like, uh, Ivan Stock and uh, Tom Wallstock, they kind of give us a different perspective about uh, how glass surface is actually being used rather than we talking, uh, talking amongst ourselves developers. Mm -hmm. so maybe we should probably encourage more users yes. to talk. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I please don't know encourage more of the users to participate. That is what I need from you. Please, please help me help you. <laughs> um, like three, four talks on like user side. Like as for a number, I think like three or four mixed in mm -hmm. for, like from the user perspective would probably be good. Yeah, I would love to be able to see more of them. Happy to. And boss need to have their own rooms. Okay. With 40 people in the back of the room, they're all surrounding the food, trying to talk about different things. <laughs> <laughs> that goes towards venue planning. I appreciate that. Yeah. Totally makes sense. Okay. Other pieces, things that are missing. Fifteen to twenty-five more minutes for each presentation, and it's not a bad thing. <laughs> okay. I actually liked that they were kept short. Okay. We could cram more in. And we tried to keep things good. moving. So I, I like that. Not a negative <laughs> thing, but it was missing. So okay. No, nope. you you raise a good point. Like typically, like forty-five minute presentations is what you see, and um, we just didn't have that kind of space in here to be able to do that. Twenty-five minutes. Twenty-five minutes is. I understand rough, but on the other hand, it will make you a better speaker to be able to work with a 25-minute perspective. That's what it is. Other things. They'll turn into 25. It's true. It's true. It's true. All right. Okay. Sounds like we're pretty much aligned on this stuff. So um, looking forward, um, one thing that I noticed that is missing is a lot of um, community participation in the process. That's something that I want to improve on next time is being able to say that like there is a team of people who is are, they are in charge of being able to do like things like the website and things like the program committee um, and things like being able to work and spreading that particular um, I think leadership perspective out where you get more of an opportunity to do that. So that's something that I want to be able to improve on. All right, now, that thing. That thing where you said that like, we wanted to be able to do that. Well, I put up a public pad. And we can start working on this now about the priorities that we think that we want to be able to look forward. So you can bring out your phones, and you can bring out your things, and we can start working on this one together live. And I also have an email that's about to go out to all of you that also has this link. Would we rather do this now, or are we done? What, what do you want to do? <coughs> okay, a couple more minutes, then we will, oh no, I'm just going to sit up here and you're going to tell me and I'm going to write it down. Okay, here we go. Tell you what. What do you want to work on coming out of this summit? What matters? If you're going to speak, ask for the mic. <coughs> I'll just put you all on the spot, I know. Give it a minute. <coughs> <laughs> oh, I want to start some of those experiments with uh, memory management. Okay. Um, certainly one thing for me. Mm. A matter near and dear to my heart as I'm making things worse, worse with multiplexing. Um, I also want to work with these guys sitting right behind me on helping to get their patches out where the rest of us can, can enjoy them. Okay. Oh, next to you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, um, I definitely want to work with uh, the event system. I want to make sure that Hecate can plug into that. That would be great. And uh, I want to talk about a little more about object sto uh, sorry, <laughs> block storage Kay. and how we can manage that. 
Okay. Yes, there's a hand over there. Yeah, um, it's not like a, a major uh, collaboration or something like that. Uh, Xavi had approached uh, on some RPC uh, performance issue uh, sometime back. RPC what? Performance issue. Okay. So the issue was not, uh, we didn't get enough bandwidth to work on that. So uh, I had almost forgotten about it just because I met Xavi and uh, Ramon, uh, so they just spoke to me and probably I'm going to pick it up. Great. What else? <laughs> so, uh, as discussed earlier, that you know that the uh, aha and this and that that kind of provided a perspective, and we we join forces and all whatever. We at least focus on the right thing and do the right thing for certain areas. So, so my takeaway primarily is instead of diversifying into too many things, if you could collect the thoughts and approach things in a more planned order, then we can get there faster. This is not only okay, I'm like client and server, but you know, all the various feedback that we've heard, or all the various features that we've discussed, or all the various things that we want to do. Mm -hmm. So I would say collect, prioritize, and plan uh, based on where we want to go with all this. OK. I mean, and in some ways, I look towards the maintainers to be able to help with that. Yes. Frankly, <laughs> I mean, like, you all here. Like, you all know what's going on, so really, the maintainers. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not saying we won't do it. No, 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 that's fine. I'm just like, I'm, I charge you with being able to do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Apart from the few cool things that Facebook already showed us, there's one more thing that they did not speak about, but is very closely related to what Nitro spoke about yesterday the testing stuff. Uh, the recent patch uh, I spoke about today, the lock evocation patch, has something called monkey unlock in that. And that's, that's a, yeah, uh, it, it's to simulate. Uh, wrong behavior. It's okay. not a ah. user side feature, but we need more of such stuff in cluster where we introduce more things in cluster where a developer can make use of it to do better testing. Okay. We don't do that often, so we can take that as a good example and improve our testing. So okay. Thanks for that. Yes. So uh, after coming to this talk, we kind of realized some new thing that we never knew about EC. Uh, both uh, Xavi and I we were actually surprised that uh, in Facebook workloads, uh, EC is like uh, kicking a person. Mm, okay. So, so they are saying that uh, I mean, after the discussions with uh, Rich, we were like uh, we kind of uh, changed the priority of how we wanted to move EC forward. <coughs> so it seems like uh, non-systematic error coding is decent after all. So, okay. so that was helpful. Like so that's what we are going to do. Okay. So as you can tell, I'm basically just doing bullet points in here. Um, I invite you guys to come in and put bullet points in as well um, as we kind of move forward. I will be putting this out on the public mailing list as well and putting this up on the website as things that we are looking forward for priorities and ways that we are moving forward. What I would also like to see is being able to take what this can, what we have learned here as a three month priority list. What are the things you want to focus on for the next three months <coughs> that came out of these discussions here? And you can put this in here and put your names on it and we'll work to be able to hold each other accountable towards being able to follow up with the things that we said we were going to do here. Fair? Yeah. Okay. Someone is coming in there and editing. Nope, I said I said you can come in and edit. Like the and it's it's pretty easy to get into. So, um, uh, probably another week or so on this, but then I'll be pushing it out. So, anything else? All right. Thank you so much. This has been a blast. Sweet. All right, everybody out. <laughs> oh, um, hold on. Put the mic back on. Um, but these boxes over here need to be emptied of things. There is things here, and they need to be like you know taken care of. So um, uh, we only need to save one for um, VJ to go back to Westford. But the rest of it, at this point in time, is kind of fair game. Okay. All right. That was all. Thank you.